is our recharge. This is how we're nurturing our alignment right now. That's connected to the Nine of Wands. This is what, what we've been doing in the garden. We put down these eight wands to recharge them. And this is enough energy to start up our Merkabas and get to where we're going next. We're healing with the element of air. That's why you see all this air behind these trees. Because we're healing with the element of air. Because we know we're going to leave the garden. And it's connected to the lovers. And this representation of the lovers is absolutely beautiful. Okay? I want you to see. I love how you can see that it it really looks like they're dancing in the sky and the water. The You know, it's become one. We've got the stars and the representation of the feminine here. The mother. The cosmos, right? Now, we've got the masculine with the masculine dancing. And then the masculine dances with the feminine. And so forth. And the steps. And how we are creating these movements. The sequences. And right now, this is showing that the masculine has been working with the masculine in order to take their next step. And that's why I love the different decks. And of course, being called to have the different the different decks to represent the messages of where we're at. And the lovers is connected to the Queen of Pentacles within the sequence, right? Within the sequences. Because when we change the sequences, X equals something else, right? The variables do count. They matter. So this patterning has changed. There's going to be a different outcome because we've changed the pattern and it's connected to the queen of pentacles. And this is how the feminine is feeling. The feminine is sitting here doing all this work in the garden. Look, someone's taking a, a few bites of the strawberry over here. Okay. Now she looks so dissatisfied, but that's because the feminine is the negative facing the negative in the negative in, you know, Let's, let's just say this is the middle. The feminine is down here and not up here right now. But this is part of the sequence also. This is also part of the patterning. Because something's happening behind the scenes. And, and what's happening is the feminine has to face all of this. This is connected to all the things we don't want to face right now. Okay? And remembering masculine, you have feminine within you. And the queen of pentacles is working with death is working on having this metamorphosis, is working on facing reality right now, all the things that we don't want to face in order to expand. And this is connected to this. And I, and I really feel like the representation of the message that's coming through of the strawberries being bitten here is the fact that the feminine's really feeling empty, in lack of, drained. She's feeling it. But there is a metamorphosis here. It's not. It's just that it's transforming. It's shifting. It's changing. And and what is being healed is the Nine of Swords. And this is what's like literally the representation of what's happening within. It's like this is what's being faced within. And that's why it feels some sort of way. You know, we're doing this inner child healing. The inner child is freed. And facing our Nine of Swords situations for us within. This is what's being created through it. And it's all part of this dance. It's all part of this. The creation part of it. And remembering that the masculine and feminine are in creation right now. Okay? And in knowing that when we face these Nine of Swords situations, they're connected to the Five of Pentacles. They are connected to our lack of. And that five of pentacles is connected to why we need to heal with air, why we need to heal in our mind. We need to remember that we have, we're not at the same pace, place we were before. We need to remember this. Whatever is happening when we're feeling some sort of way, we need to remember that we're not here because we're recharging. We're recharging here. This is what this is connected to. We're healing here by facing the shadows. And this is how we're, we are at levitating now. We are, we're, we're shining the light in the, the deepest, darkest parts of ourselves. 
our wounds. This is that this is that deep cleansing of those those wounds to the center, to the center, and to the center again. Okay, and my counter just said five eleven. This is connected to the three of swords, of course, our wounding. So this is what we are healing. This is literally what we're healing, and I want you to actually look at how it's changing, okay? You can see how it's changing. And healing is being offered. And many, many star seed twin flames right now are going through it. And healing th healing from what has been seen here on the earth. And we're healing from, you know, with the animals, with life. We're healing with all of it right now. Because remember, we've become a part of the all. My counter just said 555. Five, five, and this is connected to all... The synchronicities and signs. It's all coming together, God. is all connected to strength right now this is giving us strength remember leo season is here we're leaving the garden we're getting ready to officially leave the garden and strength is working with temperance right now it's it has to do with alchemy and it, this was the eight of swords this is how we were freed we freed the inner child in order to do this with alchemy And we had to look at this. We had to look at our Four of Cups situations. We had to look at where we were separate. But we were, where we saw we were separate, we saw our connections. Remember, we're healing through the energy of the, energy of the opposites. What you don't resonate with, what shows you what you do. That's how we get there. That's how we understand. How are you going to understand self? But you just got to learn how to feel those negative emotions and not... Get stuck there. This is about learning how to shift. This is about a seeing, it, seeing it for a signal and a sign. Not, you know, reacting to it. Not reacting to it. We're going to see it for what it is so that we can shift gears. Remember, we're driving our Merkabas, okay? We're driving our Merkabas. And this is working with the Knight of Swords right now. This is where we're going to expand from this place. There's growth here. There's growth here. And it's because we healed in the Four of Swords. We did heal from our Three of Swords situations. We did the work. We took the time. This is what we've been doing within the garden in order to get here with the Knight of Swords. And remember, this is, has to do with the patterning. This has to do with the sequence changing. The masculine. With the masculine here. Okay? And the Knight of Swords. And the emperor is expanding. We're expanding with structure right now. That's what's happening. This is the message. We are expanding with structure. This has to do with creating the stability of new earth and where we're going. And the masculine is getting ready to move forward. It is moving forward. But remember, this is at a slower pace. This is not quick like a rabbit. So instead he wins the race. But look, we do have magic on our side here. Because we've connected to the sun. And this was thanks to the all. This means something. This has to do with this message here. And something's happening because of it. The door is opening. This door that we thought was closed, it's about to open. This door here in the garden, remember, this has to do with leaving. We've been here healing in the garden underneath this window. The, the door is about to open. 
and this door is connected to the Empress. And it means something. Let's find out what it is, guys. Let's find out what it is. This door is connected to the Two of Chalices. What we are doing here with our levitation and the Nine of Chalices. Wish fulfillment. And it is connected to the Six of Cups. This is the restoration to innocence. And this had to do with the completion of the Lotus. Flowering Spirit, Revelation, Maturity. This was part of it. And working here with our levitation. And remembering how we're levitating. We're levitating from... We, ha we have all pieces of ourselves. We needed all the pieces of ourselves in order to trans transform them, transmute them into who we came here to be. And we came here to be authentic self. But this was a journey to be authentic self and we will still continue on this journey. Okay? But we are at a certain level right now. And, you know, this is not of old earth. We're not going to get high off this and be like, yeah, woohoo. No, we're going to have a humble charge and we're going to use this as strength and we're going to be like, yeah, woof, great, all right. Let's do what we got to do with our patterning. Let's rest, get some rejuvenation. We're going to move on to the next part, okay? We're not, this is healing from this and where we've been. Remember, we, we went into the lower worlds to look at what we needed to look at, to retrieve what we needed to retrieve because it was part of our levitation, we need to behold to be whole to get to where we were where we were going, okay? And now we are going to create stability and heal from manipulation. And that's what the mother and the daughter are helping us to do. All right. Let's see what's being activated here. We're going to use the sacred geometry healing cards. Phoenix Gateways, guys. Because we know. It's, just, it's gateway time. It's portal time. All these activations. Much healing is done. It's, it's incredible to see the difference between the winter and the summer when you really start uh, expanding and working with the seasons. And, you know, you have... You know, it's with experience. We learn how to expand with experience through experience. And the more we expand and the more we experience, things shift. Things shift differently. And that's why we're thankful for our experiences. We're able to have more of them. Okay. What is being activated here? Because I feel off. Because I feel off, guys. Because, okay. How do I get my center? Okay. I gotta move you guys over here. We're, we're moving over. Well. We're gonna get a reshuffle. What's being activated here? Ooh, almost the together. Ooh, there it is. Gratitude, acknowledgement of our blessings. Of course it is. And we're gonna believe and have faith. Because there it is, the 13 spheres of knowledge. We've accessed them and we've expanded with them. The fruit of life, the spheres of knowledge. And this has much to do with all this work that we're doing within the mind. Reflection, reflect upon our life experiences. And working with the labyrinth of the mind.
for making connections. The Akashic Records and Consciousness Evolution. And this is what, look, this is everything. Because we're activating our true state of being. This is part of our levitation. Our body is safe and loved and it's knowing this. So it's going to help us to levitate. And of course, it's connected to our Merkaba because we've been healing from traumatic experiences. And we know we can use these frequencies, guys. We can use these frequencies. If you have still doing some inner child healing or still working in the garden, of course, we're going to be working to heal from our trauma. And that's what we've been doing in the garden. So now we've done it from within to without. We've created joy because we believe and have faith. We create joy and happiness right here. We're doing it right here. Because we found gratitude. Acknowledgement of our blessings. I manifest positive change and growth through gratitude. Our lives have become so busy that we take for granted aspects of ourselves, our relationships, and our material gains because we get so caught up in the need to strive for more. Uh, we've been there, haven't we, guys? Right? Thinking we don't have enough of the riches that support our lives, we neglect to truly see the abundance of the gains we already have. To be truly grateful is to appreciate all of life's offerings, regardless of whether it is what you need in your life right now. The ability to see beyond the hardships shows strength and understanding. Life cannot just be one big high, and that's it. That's why the white goddess is here, to show us life cannot be one big high, and that's why we got trapped within the devil energies and the devil was stealing our energy and we took it back we took it back with that cup because we weren't going to drink from that cup anymore because we realized life could not be one just one big high and that's how we healed from addiction and we saw what we needed to see in the garden this 12 pointed star is a representation of a stellated dodecahedron as it contains 12 faces. It can be perceived as a number of completion and wholeness. It also represents, is a representation of the Genesis pattern, which in two dimensions is 12 spheres around a central sphere to create 13. Guys, and that's no, that's no coincidence, right? You're expanding. The third, with the 13 spheres of knowledge, the matter, with the masculine, the energy. And within the center of the star is the genesis pattern of the seed of life. And there it is. We're all coming back to the center. We're all coming back to the one. Remember, this, this is seed energy and healing to the center and to the center and to the center again. This is lit. This is everything we've been discussing. And remembering... That we are at a place of completion now. And that's why obviously the messages of, you know, 444, 555, 6, 11, 11, you know, 311, 411, 12, 11, whatever time it's been. It's a time of completion and nurturing this alignment that we've all been working on creating all of our, all of our, all on our each own individual paths, but we're all connected because We've all gone to the center. We all have seen the all, seen what we need to see. If you're resonating with this message, you know what we're talking about. Now, we are blessed at conception to be a fractal of the bigger picture. We already inherit all that we need to go about our daily lives to bring fulfillment, happiness, and like into our lives. For this, we need to acknowledge our blessings of being able to partake on earth in this time. So well, the practical application of this is to give thanks when we go to bed and upon waking. And I know, we, we, you know, guys, there's a message confirmation right there from that phone ringing. There's a message that just keeps coming through of that we've received of the lady with the bell and the goddess with the bell. It's all about our notes in the morning. And I've been thinking about that. Like, what are your notes in the morning? 
are you harmonizing in the morning? And this is saying, let's harmonize at night. So we're going to do it twice. We're going to harmonize in the morning. We're going to harmonize at night. We're going to restore balance. Remember, our notes that we start the day off, our notes that we end the day off. This is connected to our harmony. This is connected to our symphony. This is connected to humanity's healing song. Mother Earth's healing song as we move forth on this universal expansion. So we're going to give thanks to the people that we meet and the re relationships we develop remembering their experience, right? In order to create with, from. Be thankful for the food on the table and the love of those nearest and dearest. We are richer than we think. And remember, if you're in a space where something's not resonating with you and you're feeling uncomfortable, you're feeling some sort of way, it's because you need to see what you need to see. Honor it, grieve it, move it, feel it, but shift it. Don't say suck there. We're going to shift it. And it's just a small shift, guys. It doesn't have to be something massive. We can create a small shift and it's a ripple effect. We're, you know, not every, th not every time does it go down the way it went down the time before. And we need to remember that in our brain sometimes because we're habitual and we want to feel safe. But if it feels different right now, you're doing something new, right? You're doing something new. You're shaking things up. And this is connected to card numerology number six, rose quartz, jade, tangerine, and quartz, citrine. And I've been called to use citrine. Oh, look. And it's transformation in miracle time. Because we're releasing fear, heightening our intuition and protection. And really, I can feel the expansion. I can feel that these cards are connected. You can see it and you could like it literally, they're breathing together. I can feel them breathing together. This is where we're starting, guys. Next time. Love, light, and healing energy sent your way to create today. I can hardly wait. Till the next time when we expand. Until then, I'm sending it to you. Those healing vibes. Take care, everyone. Much love.